Hi, I'm Carol Clark from CraftsyPrint.com with another edition of Cook TV. And today I've got a lovely DVD or game console gift box to show you. Lovely little gift box with sturdy sides because they've got my double walled construction. It opens at the top, we've got little flaps to open up, and it'll fit a DVD or anything else of a similar size. And the mini kit, so they come with two sheets in the kit and they're really easy to make. And this is what it's like when you get them from the kit. You get the two sheets and you also get a set of photo by photo instructions as well. So you get the box top and some gift tags. You get the box base and you get the little flap as well. And then like I say you get full photo by photo instructions. Now like with a lot of my designs you'll find that you've got registration marks on the sheets and you need to score those. I'll just score one of them to show you how I do it and I use my trimmer and line it up with the wire and then using my scoring tool I score along as well. Now, you have got tiny little uh, marks to the left and right just there because that's all I could fit in for going that way. You've got another one going this way on this flap here. You've got another one just there and you've got this one here as well. The only one I've not been able to give you the registration marks for and I can't see it but wherever it is oh there's a here because it goes to the edge of the paper the, the printable area you need to follow the edge of the flap down and the flap down there as well along that side and along that side there but it does show you in the instructions and then you need to cut it out which I have already done I've cut it out and I have pre-folded and burnished all the, the fold lines but you just fold them in and then using a bone folder you give a good sharp press on them but we'll start with the box base and this is what it looks like when you've cut it out you've got the little flaps on this side here but on the side without the flaps that's where we're going to add the top flap that folds over for the box so I like to line them up side by side and I really ought to look at my own instructions didn't I just to make sure I'm getting it exactly right and there you go you see I've got it upside down I knew there was something wrong so we need to add the flap you can either add it on top or underneath it really doesn't matter but it needs to join to that piece there so I'm going to use my sticky tape putter on a thingy and I think I'm going to add it to my flap there like that and then I'm going to I am going to turn it over because I think I'm going to find it easier to see and then you add it to the the glue flap at the top I haven't quite lined it up there there we go and then I'm going to burnish it using the bone folder and there we've added the flap to the back of it and we've still got the little flaps at the bottom if I just turn over the instructions again and the next thing we need to do is to take the front of the box and you'll find you've got a short flap here and you've got a wider one the wider one is just to give extra support to the opened front of the box so we need to add double sided tape to that and then just fold it in and burnish it again so that we've now got a wide flap there and we've got a shorter one there and then the next thing we're going to do is to join the two pieces together and for this one I'm going to fold that one down flat this is the one with the little flaps on it there and this one hasn't got them and I'm going to turn in this one here and make sure it's nicely creased and I'm going to add double sided tape to this one You can use whatever glue you like. Hopefully you won't get in such a mess as I have done with my sticky tape footer on a thingy. There we go. I'm going to line them up side by side. And the easiest thing to do is just to fold your flap over to make sure it's in the right place. And there we go. Now we've got the two pieces joined nicely together. Now then, the next thing we need to do turn over the instructions yet again and we need to add double sided tape to the, the two little flaps 
and these two long flaps and it shows you on the instructions it shows you exactly where to add the door side of tape so I'm going to fold these in out the way first I think so it's these little mini flaps in the middle tape keeps running on past where I want it to go you have to excuse me here be careful because it's already put it onto that piece I didn't really want it yet and then I'm going to put it onto the two longer sides as well just there like that now then this is where it might look a bit funny because we're going to stick these flaps onto the outside of this one here but if we put it onto the inside when you put the DVD or your console game in it would catch on them so I'm going to lift it up probably easier to lift this side up and making sure that that is at an angle I'm going to stick the little flaps onto the outside just there like that there we go now I've managed to get some double sided tape onto the inside here if you manage to do that as well this is one of the best things to use a little bit of baby powder just going to dust a tiny bit inside and I'm going to put it onto the double sided tape because I really don't want that to be sticking to the DVD when I put it in the box so there we go, that's that sorted isn't it and then the last thing to do to create the box itself having got rid of all the bits, makes it smell nice as well if you use baby powder is to fold it over so that you're going to line up this side this side here with that fold there and this end here is going to line up with that one there and the front's going to line up when you fold it in these little flaps as well and you can see how easy that's going to be to create the box shape and again on this side as well it is if I fold it in that little flap I think and there we go and then the easiest way to make sure everything's adhered correctly is to use your bone folder and to have a press inside now I have to bear with me because I'm doing this upside down and back to front it feels to me and again I'll do it on this side as well there and that makes sure and that, with that double wall construction you've got really very sturdy box too which you're going to need to to protect your DVDs and what have you in there now one last little step and this helps to, to make sure that the box flap stays shut is to cut a tiny tiny little nick on the front just there so where this folds down just there you're going to cut a tiny little bit just on that edge just there again it shows you exactly where to cut it in the instructions I'm cutting oh, I don't know about two or three tenths of an inch that's all just there so when you fold it in it catches on these little flaps and it doesn't pop open for you so there look that stayed closed quite nicely and until you actually pop it out properly it doesn't come open obviously then you can find your favourite movie which we've got here Miracle on 34th Street very Christmassy and you can pop it in there as a present you could add a little note as well if you wanted to fold in now I've gone let me fold out the little flap again and put this in fold in the little flaps and fold in the top as well and one last thing you can do is to decorate it and today I've got a piece of ribbon and just for quickness I'm just going to place it around and use a little bit of my sticky tape putter on a thingy on the ribbon itself but I would normally use a much better glue than this to finish it off there we go and I've just popped that round there I've also made a little bow which again I'm just going to use the sticky tape today just to hold it into place for now I've cut out one of the the greetings which I'm going to add as well and I would probably have pop, pop this up on a dimensional so that it, it lifts up nicely so I'll have that from coming from underneath the bow I think and then one last thing I found was a nice little shiny uh, sparkly flower and I'm going to pop that on top of there like that and there we have it a DVD gift box a lovely way to give a gift or if you're giving a console game at Christmas as I say if you've got one about the size of a DVD then they'll fit in there as well or a book or whatever else you wanted to pop into them well 
I hope you've enjoyed this Cup TV episode and if you like my designs just go to www.craftsyprint.com forward slash Carol Clark and I hope to see you again next time on Cup TV. Bye!